Vitamin D was discovered in 1913, but by 1918, they were on to, hey, this stuff really works. Okay. By 1928, 10 years later, everybody in America was taking 20 milli milligrams a day. Okay. And you know what happened? Our hospitals emptied out. They had a medical emergency. No one was getting sick. So what the AMA and the FDA got together and what they decided to do was they decided to give seven medical students enough vitamin D to kill a horse. Well, of course, the kids got sick. Right. That was their excuse to remove vitamin D from the shelf. But because of the public uproar, the president of the United States had to commission University of Chicago medical faculty under Dr. Frock to tell the world, is vitamin D toxic? Okay. Well, it, the study took years, and in the meantime, the FDA and AMA got together and said, we've got to stop people from taking the crucial vitamins, A, D, and E. Right. And so you know what we're going to do? We're going to use number psychology on the public. The 20 milligrams that the little lady takes every day is now one million units, and a million units will kill you. Huh. And today, so what did they allow? 400. Now, 400 is one one-hundredth of a milligram, not enough to do any good.